Hello Aces, welcome back to module 7, lesson 6.2, setting up your 360 ads. In the previous lesson, we talked about why it is crucial for you to set up your 360 ads in order for you to create your financial freedom ticket. In today's lesson, we're going to dive into the five steps to set up your 360 ads. So make sure you guys buckle up. First step is to pixel them. What does it mean to pixel them? It means that you're marking them whenever they come and arrive on your website, whenever they engage on your Facebook or in your social media like Instagram, whenever they, they, they click a like or when they comment or when they just visit your website, you have marked them. So then that way you can actually show your ads to them. Okay, that's what it means to pixel them. It's just imagine someone basically coming into your restaurant and you paint them with a paintbrush on their forehead, right? A blue, uh, blue mark on their forehead. And this is, it doesn't go away. So next time they come in, you see that they're marked with blue and you know for a fact that they have come to your restaurant before. Same principle applies online. We pixel them, right? Basically, this is the basis of running any types of advertisements on your website, on your Instagram and on your Facebook. Okay. It is important to be able to, um, market, uh, to people who have engaged with you because they are much more likely to purchase from you because they've shown intent that they have interest on what you have to say. They have interest in actually stalking your Instagram, stalking your Facebook, stalking your website. And automatically, if you show them, Hey, you know what? This is what we're about. Oh, cool. Like I have interest in this website or this restaurant and they're showing me more stuff on Instagram. They're showing me more stuff on their ads. That's why it is super, super important. And you should do this right from the get go. Why is it important to do it right from the get go? Even if you don't have anything prepared it is because once you set up a code on your website, then your website will start generating data. And even if you're not ready to run the advertisement now in today's world or like right now, currently, and you want to be able to run ads two months from now, but you have set your targeting. If you set your pixel already, then that means within the course of the two months, anyone who has engaged in your website or who has clicked into your Facebook profile or your Instagram have been marked. That means if I want to run advertisement to them two months from today, I have the ability to do so. And that's the reason why, even if you're not ready to run ads, now's the time to set up a pixel on your website and on your social media. So if you don't know how to set up your pixel, definitely go into the resources down below, download the resource and follow along. However, once again, I do recommend if you're not familiar with Facebook ads or Instagram ads, then definitely find someone who knows what they're doing to help you set it up. So then that way you can really focus on stuff that you enjoy, which is cooking a delicious meal for your customers. Next up, it is to deliver value. I talked about from my previous lesson that when we are running promotions, what are we uh, running ads? What are we doing? We're not running promotions. Okay. Once again, we're not running promotions. We're not selling people hate being sold online. What we're doing is just increasing the frequency of touch points. So then that way we're always top of mind. Once again, if you're running a Vietnamese restaurant, we just need to stay top of mind. We just need to be in their faces. We don't need to be like, buy for me guys, buy for me. Yo, 10% off, 10% off. Now I become a very annoying person. We don't want that. We just want to showcase, just be like in front of them, just be in front of them, just be in front of them. That's what our whole intent of running ads is all about. And we'll get to the point of when you sell them in step number five. Okay. So you will be asking, so what kind of content do we deliver if we're not selling them? Now, remember the seven P's. Okay. Seven P's of value. First up is personal stories. Okay. Why you created your shop? What is the story behind it? Is it because it's your grandma's recipe for your Vietnamese restaurant? You can share that personal values. What do you value? Do you value balance? Do you value family? Do you value fun? Once again, these are the items that we cover from module one to module six. And that's the reason why we cover all those items because they stack and they work in favor of each other. And when you complete all the modules together and when you stack everything together, that's when you have power and this becomes easy for you. You just need to go back to module one, grab your values and start crafting your ad. Next up positioning. We talked about your winning awards and how you're different. Is it because you offer sustainable fish or is it because you offer ocean wise? What makes you different from your competitors proof? Once again, 
your customer's testimonial is the best way to showcase to other people that other uh, your people who are your customers really, really enjoy what you have to serve. Process, how do you make your food? How do you treat your customers? How do you do things? You can showcase this, showcase this in a very uh, tasteful manner to your customers through ads. Transparency is super powerful, especially in today's age, everyone, buys into being authentic. So you just need to be authentic. There's nothing to hide behind. And that's the reason why if you can showcase how your cook prepares a meal or how your cook goes out and buy ingredients, that acts as a really good piece of content because now me as a customer, I know exactly, oh wow, uh, Chef Lee buys their groceries from the local, Christmas, uh, local market on locals farmer's market. They support local and I wanna support them because they're doing great stuff problem showcase your specific problem and the job to be done and how you're solving that specifically so for example if you're selling um, let's say poke in downtown vancouver okay what is the problem you're trying to solve the problem you're trying to solve is the fact that people just want to grab a quick to go lunch that is healthy and doesn't require uh too much um too much preparation then poke right tell them the problem and tell them your solution pr once again Articles is huge, and we cover this in module six, uh, how you can actually get PR uh, press release and media to talk about you. So definitely these are the seven P's of value that you should be writing for your ads, okay? Now, next up, set your parameters. Set your parameters of who you are gonna be running the ads to, when, and basically all the different parameters. Let's dive right in, guys. First of all, we're running our ads to two types of demographic. First up is cold. Okay. Cold leads are people who have not ever engaged with your restaurant. They haven't heard about it. They haven't clicked into you yet. They just are not aware of your restaurant and it is okay. So we want to show the ad, show your specific ad to people within five kilometers radius who has never engaged with your restaurant because now we want them to be aware of your restaurant. We need to be able to select people who have a certain interest within your radius as well that complements to your restaurant. So such as, hey, do they like foodies? Do they like following food stuff? Because if they do, then they're much more likely to complement your specific restaurant. Now that we have targeted this group of demographic, we're also gonna target the warm leads. What are warm leads? As you must have guessed, people who has liked your page, people who have interacted with you, who have engaged with you, who have visited your website, right? Or people that are friends with people who has liked your page. These are all warm leads, okay? The pixel targets who has landed on your website, and that's the reason why I talked about pixeling your audience and pixeling your website from the very, very beginning. Even if you have no intent of running marketing right now, it is super important to part uh, pixel them right from the beginning. So now when you're ready, two months, three months down the road, when you're ready to run your promotion, you can actually tap into thousands of people who have engaged with your website and they're much, much more likely to buy from you, okay? Now that we know who we're targeting, we need to set our budget. $5 to run cold uh, ads to the cold leads and $5 to run nurturing warm leads. Just imagine the cold people are, you're just capturing them. You're setting up a trap. You're setting up a hook. You're like trying to fish this group of people because they haven't seen you before. Now the other group of people have seen you. They have interacted with you. Now you're just nurturing them. That's the difference. Okay. And keep in mind that the people reach for each type of targeting, either cold or warm varies depending on the CPM and CPC. Now, what are CPCs or CPMs? CPMs are basically cost per million, means that advertisers pay how much to reach a thousand of your customers, right? So if you wanna be able to display your ads to a thousand potential customers just to show it in front of their faces, okay, that they've seen it, then that would be a cost, right? Usually it ranges from 10, 20, even $30 per uh, CPM. Now CPC stands for cost per click. It means how much are you willing to pay for someone to click on your ad? Every click would be a dollar or $2 or $3, depending on your specific industry, right? Now that we have a certain budget, okay? It, it, we move on to something else, okay? So on this note, if you're still a little bit confused and if this is just going through your heads and you're like, what is 
Wilson talking about, it is completely fine. You can just skip on to the next step. And all you have to understand is the principle of why we're doing this, that we're trying to run advertisement to capture a very, very new audience. We also want to run advertisements to nurture the people who like us understand that principle and you're ready to move on because people that you find to help on your uh, ad campaign, they know exactly what to do. All you have to do is to understand the principles of how to run these ads. Okay. Next up is to set your parameters. Okay. Duration. How long are you going to run it for? You should nurture your warm leads for up to 60 days, set the duration to show the ads once a day and set the ad placement to show up both Instagram and Facebook. So this is our philosophy when it comes to uh, the duration. So for you, it might be 30 days. It might be showing only once a week. It is completely okay. And you can change things around to see what works best for you. Now it is time to launch guys. Make sure that when you launch these ads and when you launch these campaigns, you monitor your CPM, CPC amongst everything else. There's a lot of different metrics that you can monitor as well, such as like a click through rate. That's really important as well, right? But then at the end of the day, it is the CPM and CPC that dictates how much you're spending on this whole campaign. If your ad is on point, then your, your ads would be much cheaper because just more people are seeing it and more people seeing it at a, co uh, at a cheaper rate. That means you're going to be spending more. And it's just on a really, really big, um, big flywheel that we're talking about. It's important to understand what your target audience likes because you are showing them exactly what they have opted in for. And that's really about nurturing that relationship, right? Cut the ads that don't perform well. If they don't perform well, or if the fact that, hey, you know what, it's costing you a lot in order for you to show your ad in front of people, that means people are just not engaged. They just don't like what you have to share. Then cut those out because specific ads, maybe for example, I'll give you an example. Maybe if you shared some of the behind the scenes stuff, no one clicks into it because people just don't, like to see what's going on behind the scenes. I don't care about what's happening behind your kitchen. And this is just hypothetical, right? If no one cares about it, then no one's going to buy the ad. And that's the reason why it would cost more to show it to other people, right? So definitely cut the ads that are not performing well. You must do multiple ads all at once and to test things out. Running ads on Facebook and Instagram is all about testing and testing and testing. And once again, if you don't know this, it is okay. Get someone who knows what they're doing to help you out. You just need to understand the principle of how this works, right? See which type of contents does well, then refresh something new every single two months. Maybe video performs better. Maybe a static image with a background works better. I can't tell you the secret sauce. There is no secret sauce. Really, it's all about the data and the data does not lie. So basically all you have to do is just write multiple different captions, multiple different video or photo assets and throw it out there and see what the ads tell you. The ones that perform well, the ones that are cheaper, keep those ones, the expensive ones, cut it out and always test against your winning ones because you never know what's going to work. Next up, how do you attain explosive growth? Now that you set your ad campaign, you understand it's working. Now you're getting a lot of people just looking at what you have to say and looking at your ads. What's up next? Then you run contests and then you run campaigns. Then you run events because now you're just basically pouring gasoline on fire. You're basically amplifying your message on top of your influencer marketing, on top of your PR, on top of the events that you're running. You're also doing Facebook and Instagram ads. That's how you're going to be able to get explosive growth is by always providing value, the seven P's of values. And then when the time comes to have the event, that's when you run promotion to these things. So then that way your customers not seeing you promoting all the time. You're doing the jab, 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 right hook as quoted by Gary V value, 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 then ask value, 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 then ask. Now that becomes a really fruitful relationship between you and your customers. They don't think that you're just hard selling them all the time. You're like a friend. And then all of a sudden you're like, Hey guys, yo, we are just creating this event. Why don't you come by and check it out? That's the type of relationship we want to be able to nurture with our customers. And these posts should really focus on customers taking action. We're basically telling them, Hey guys, 
definitely come in and check us out because we're just running this promotion specific one for Father's Day's campaign, something along the lines of that. And the chances that they would take the action would be five times more than if you did not actually run these nurturing promotions with them. And that's the reason why this is truly the ticket for freedom for you. And that's the reason why whenever we have promotions, it is super successful because we nurture, 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 and then we ask them to perform an action, right? We also have included enough touch points so then that way we have gained their trust. And ultimately, trust is the only reason why anyone will be buying from you. So there you go. The five step in creating 360 ads. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you feel confused right now, it is completely okay. Once again, you're here to learn the principle. So then that way, when you get someone to help you execute on these ads, you know exactly what to say and you know exactly the principle behind it. So then that way you don't get scammed, okay? Understand the strategy and get someone to help you execute, right? And on that note, everyone has their own strategy and philosophies on running ads, so it is okay to take some of their perspective. What I'm sharing with you has worked for me, and I just wanna share this with you. So someone else has another, pro, uh, another philosophy or strategy, and it is okay as well. Doesn't mean that they're wrong. You just need to explain to them your goal in running 360 ads, show them this module, show them what you're trying to do, and they'll tell you, what they're gonna need from you, okay? This strategy has worked wonders for us and also a lot of our students, and which is the reason why I'm sharing this with you. Make sure you go ahead and share it with the people to help you execute. Now it is your turn, guys, to set up your pixel first. Once again, first and foremost, even if you have no intent on running advertisement, it is okay, set up your pixel. Next up, create your 60 value posts based on the seven Ps. It might seem like a lot, but it really isn't a lot. Basically, you just need to type it out or just record it from your cell phone. Production need, does not need to be high at all because it's all about being authentic. That's what drives trust, and ultimately trust is the only reason why someone will buy from you. Next up, set your parameters on who you're targeting, the cold audience, the warm audience, your duration, and also your budget. Download in the worksheet below with all the resources that you need. In this lesson, you just learned how to set up your 360 ads for the best results, and this is truly the ticket to your financial freedom. Now, congratulations. Thank you so, so much for completing the Pro Academy. I'm super proud of you for getting this far, and I just wanna be able to congratulate your success. Thank you so much for going on this wild journey with me. Really appreciate you all, love you all. I'll see you guys very, very soon.